up at home because it's your favorite homegirl gossip girl and today i have an update on the marissa galloway case so the woman who unalived the mother of her granddaughter before turning the gun on herself mm, did so as part of a sick elaborate plot to get her upper east side son full custody of the four-year-old and this is in the new court documents. The disturbing Manhattan filing also reveals heartbreaking details about what life has been like for the victim, Marissa Galloway's parents, after the slave suicide horror that robbed them of their daughter. Now, terminally ill ex-Chicago probation officer Kathleen Lee, 65 years old, fatally shot Galloway, a 45-year-old special education teacher who shared a child with Lee's son, Zachariah Reed. Last month, on a leafy Manhattan street before turning the gun on herself. Mm -mm -mm. Now, Galloway's parents, Nancy and John Galloway, have filed an emergency court petition claiming Reed has run off to his Chicago multi-million dollar home with their beloved grandchild, Lily under the pretext of mourning Lee's death and barred the Galloways from any contact, including even a video call with the child. Now, when this all happened, I said the grandmother is too involved in her son's and Mar Marissa's business, okay? Kathleen Lee is part is, is the reason why Zach is the way he is. Like, for real. And I'm sorry, but they sat down and they thought about this. They plotted this. This was a plan. Because this happened on the day that Zach had Lily with him. It was his turn, you know, for the four-year-old to be with him. So this happened on that day that the child was with him. And she was with her, you know, her youngest daughter. She put her youngest daughter in the back seat, in the car seat. And Kathleen walked up to her and did what she did. She didn't care about the other daughter being left out in the street. All she was worried about was making sure that her son had custody of the daughter that Zach and Marissa shared. So this was planned. This was planned. And Zach has to realize that the four-year-old grandparents is Melissa's is Marissa's um, parents, Nancy and John. He can't stop that, but his actions. Yeah, I, I've, I've always had a feeling that the mother and the son planned this. But anyway, let's continue. Clearly, Reed's mother had a deliberate plan to unalive Marissa in order to provide custody for her son. And that's also in the court papers. Now, unfortunately, Reed has demonstrated an absolute intention to further those same goals of his mother as he refused to provide us with any access to Lily at all in almost three weeks. And that was said by John and Nancy. Now, the grandparents who live in Cape May, New Jersey, are asking a Manhattan Supreme Court judge to pass on Marissa's parenting time hashed out in 2022 custody agreement with Reed to them, according to the legal papers that was filed on Friday. So Marissa and Reed, which is Zach, they had a plan in place. Okay, so now the grandparents are asking the judge to keep those same plans in place for them. They also asking that Zach be forced to stay in New York City until Lily is 18 years old so that she can keep in a close relationship with her grandparents and with her half-sister, Mario. Now, the one-year-old daughter, Marissa, had with a sperm donor, and that's also in the filings. So the one-year-old, you know, um, was through a sperm, a sperm donor, and the four-year-old is with Zach and Marissa. This is sad. This is really a sad case. The Galloways currently have custody of Mario. 
and that's the one-year-old. Nancy, in a heartbreaking affidavit, laid out the adoring and hands-on relationship she and her husband had with Lily when they saw her two to three times a month, often for multiple nights at a time, when Marissa would often bring the kids to their Garden State home or when they visited Marissa and the girls in the city. So basically, Zachariah has ran off to Chicago because he's mourning, you know, the death of his mom. But he cut off all access and all communication to the four-year-old, which is absolutely insane. And I hope the judge, you know, um, would be in favor of the grandparents. Because it's showing that this was their intention all along. Is showing. Look at his actions. Look at his actions. This man, I've read so many things about him, what he used to do to Marissa. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. He tried to make Marissa's life a living hell. And now he's trying to make the grandparents suffer. And he needs to be stopped. Because that's not fear. That is not fear at all. The grandparents has just as much rights as his family. They have built a relationship with the four-year-old. The four-year-old knows, you know, her mom's grand, you know, her mom's parents, her grandparents. And look what he's doing. He he's only thinking about himself. He doesn't care. So I really do hope that the judge is in favor of the grandparents. I really do. I hope the, the judge is in favor of the grandparents because this is crazy. They spent time with the four-year-old. You know, there's pictures of them together, you know, hanging out with Marissa and the girls and the grandma. You know, the grandfather, they have their own little thing. We used to go picking to, um, cherry tomatoes in a garden. They have a lot of memories with her. So why would you do that? Why would you do that? So I hope the judge please be in favor of Nancy and John Galloway. Make sure that he still lives in New York City. Okay. Put the same custody plan that Marissa and Zach had in place. Transfer that over to Nancy and John Galloway. Because they deserve that. They are part of her life. Why would he just cut them out like that? Your mother already caused enough damage as it is. Some people, they don't care at all. As long as they get what they want, they don't care about hurting the children. They don't care about hurting anybody else. And Zachariah Reed is selfish. He's a selfish man. And he needs to be stopped. But anyway, that's the update that I have on that case. So if I find out anything else, I will let you guys know. Until then, have a good one.